So, Katie, what is going on as far as what we can expect next from you? Is there a recording session coming up? Has there already been? Yeah, okay, so um, at the end of this month, May 24th, I believe, uh, we'll have a new song out on Spotify, iTunes, all that good jazz. So um, I'm really excited about it, and that's the first of uh, some new stuff coming. Um, hopefully really soon. Still in the studio working on um, the rest of them, but that, yeah, this one, next one's called All the Things, and it'll be out, and it's a jam, and I can't wait to be able to hear it. Everything that you've done has been so uplifting, and of course, you know, we love How Could I Be Silent. It has launched a movement. I mean, we have people, our listeners, and I know others, I'm sure, all over the country that have said, yeah, that girl's right. <laughs> it's time to step up. And, and we have listeners who have said things like, you know, that just kind of got, just kind of grabbed me, you know. So why do you think that has spoken to so many people? Oh, that is, wow, that's amazing, first of all. And thank you for playing it and for getting it to the ears of so many people. Um, I think, I mean, I don't know, honestly, I feel like a lot of the times, like, you release songs, and I'm still learning this because I'm new, but you release songs and then, like, God does whatever he wants with them. So, like, the fact that it's blown mm -hmm. up here is incredible to me, and I'm so thankful. And I feel like, you know, God's kind of just made that happen here in this community. Like, you guys doing your, you know, so your, you have the T-shirt on, and I love it. But um, I don't know. I think I tried to um, – I wrote it about, like, my own personal life story. And I think that a lot of times, like, your own story relates to more people than you think. And so I think maybe um, just, like, the story of, you know, kind of – holding back, being afraid to like share your own story grabs a hold of a lot of other people because I think a lot of other people feel the same way. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, I mean, I'm grateful that people love it and that people um, have kind of held on to it. Well, when you were growing up, you know, like last year, yeah. <laughs> what would you call your musical influences or who would you say? A lot. Um, a lot of differences I could say. Um, I loved Hannah Montana. She was like my girl growing up. Taylor Swift, um, still love her, still listen to her, but um, so there was a girl named Bethany Dillon. She was, in, she was a Christian artist back when I was like seven or eight. You know, I loved her. Her and Stacey Rico, um, and like Britt Nicole, those kind of like just Christian girl artists I thought were so cool. Um, so yeah, growing up it was just a mix of like Jonas Brothers and Hannah Montana and then like Christian, um, Christian girls and other 